Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. Man, I had a late night last night. We went to the Inland Northwest Craft Beer Festival with some friends. We didn't get home till 11, so I am pretty tired because it is not even 7 a.m. yet. But I have to get to the grocery store. I have Fred Meyer or Kroger and Walmart. I have two open houses today. I've got to stop by the office. I've got to film, edit, upload this video. It's going to be a busy day and I am tired. I'm definitely going to need coffee and energy drinks and lots of water today. So I'm about to head into Fred Meyer, uh, which is a Kroger store, to pick up my groceries, head over to Walmart to do my Walmart pickup, and then I will be home to share with you what I picked up for the week. We'll go through what is on my meal plan and also what I'm doing for meal prep. So if you want to see everything I picked up for the week and what I'm planning to have for all of my meals, then just stay tuned. So here are the groceries that I picked up at Walmart pickup. So I restocked my fat-free cheddar cheese. Again, I can't find this at my local Fred Meyer, so I always just add it to my cart when I pick up from Walmart. So I grabbed two bags of the mild cheddar fat-free cheese. Another thing that I can't find at my local Fred Meyer is fat-free cream cheese. So I always add that to my cart. I grabbed two. I will just put these in the freezer. It works great to just throw these in the freezer. And then when you need them, you just pull them out and defrost them and you have perfect cream cheese. So grab two of those. I know that a lot of people aren't big fans of the fat-free cream cheese. I don't like it as a cream cheese spread, say on a bagel, but I don't notice any difference in cooking. So I generally will just use this for baking, cooking. That's where I don't see much of a difference. So two of those. Also four pounds of the Extra Lean 96.4 ground beef. This was a substitution. I actually had ordered two 2.25 pound packages which this is fine uh, because they're already pre-portioned into one pound rather than me having to weigh it all out. But generally that's a little less expensive, but this is fine. This will last me a while. I was just out of extra lean ground beef. Also two packages of the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple Smoked Sausage. This is the best smoked sausage ever. And this entire link is only two points. It's all natural. It has excellent ingredients. It is even Whole30 approved. That's how good the ingredients are in this. So I picked these up. I just like to have these on hand just for when I'm wanting any type of sausage. And I do have a recipe coming out this week where I use this sausage. So there's your ingredients and your nutritional information. So I grabbed two of these. These are great to freeze as well. I grabbed a bag of the Bob's Starlight Mint sugar-free. I just want to have these in my car for when I'm out showing property and things just to freshen my breath. So you can have three of these, I believe, for one point. But of course, it'll be here on the screen. I would most likely just have one just to kind of freshen my breath. So I grabbed those. And then a new find. I was very excited to see these on their website. So my Walmart does not carry lilies. So if I want lilies, I actually have to go to a health food store and pay $6 a bag. But I found these. Bake Believe. These are white chocolate, no sugar added, 28% cacao chips. So here's what it says about it. All natural stevia sweetened baking chips. Here is your nutritional information. So it's pretty similar to lilies as far as calories and points go. But this is white chocolate, so how yummy is that? There are your ingredients. So it looks like there's erythritol, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, sunflower lectin, natural flavor, vanilla extract, and stevia leaf. Fair trade certified. Really excited about these. This is going to save me a lot of money and give me a lot more options with the baking chips, and these were less than $4. So I grabbed the white. The semi-sweet, so this is 45% cacao, and this one is 10 calories more. And then I also got the dark chocolate, which is the Lily's Dupe. This is 55% cacao, and this one is 60 calories per serving as well. So really excited about these. If you can find these in your area, definitely will save you some money and give you some options on baking chips. And with the holidays coming, I need a lot of baking chips. So really, really excited to find those. And lastly at Walmart, I grabbed a uh, 30 pack of Coors Light for my husband. So that was my Walmart grocery pickup. Now let's move in to Fred Meyer. 
So here is my grocery haul from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. I have a big haul this week because I had to buy a lot of meat. We were running pretty low on meat. And then I'll show you what I picked up for drinks. So let's get into this big haul. I picked up these because they were on clearance for $1.99. I've actually had these before. And these are the Smash Mellows and Cinnamon Churro. These are so good. They're big marshmallows coated in cinnamon and sugar, and they are only one smart point a piece. So I had to grab them. I don't know how many four is. I'll put it here on the screen, of course. So I went ahead and grabbed the cinnamon churro smashmallows just to have a quick sweet treat on hand. These would actually be really good in some sugar-free hot cocoa as well. So yum. Grabbed those. And then last week I had the Thomas English muffins in the pumpkin. And we really, really liked them. So these were on sale for $1.99. They actually had less calories. I don't know if the points vary. But I grabbed these so that we could try just a different brand of the pumpkin English muffins. And honestly, I think these are even larger muffins for less calories. So I picked those up. We'll try those. We've been really enjoying those this fall. Also grab some yogurt. This was a free Friday download with Fred Meyer. And this is the Chobani Vanilla Greek Yogurt with Cashew Butter. I didn't know the points. I think it may be fairly high, but I'll probably throw this into my husband's lunch. It just sounds really good. A little bit of yogurt as well as some extra protein with the nut butter. And then Light and Fit was on sale for 88 cents. So I grabbed two of the Toasted Marshmallow. I really like this with the Cinnamon Smart Cake. And I make a parfait and it is so good. Good. So I grabbed two of those since those were on sale for only 88 cents. And then eggs, I always grab the Simple Truth cage-free eggs for baking. And then for eating, I really like the Happy Eggs. These are just a lot more expensive. So I save these generally for, for my breakfast. If I'm going to have eggs or scrambled eggs, I like those. And then these, again, for recipes and for baking. Also, two packs of the Kroger Honey Ham. This is for my husband. He wanted ham and Colby Jack sandwiches this week. So two packages of the Honey Ham for lunches. Basmati rice. I could not even find this when I was there. And this rice is pricey. This bag was over $5 and it was the only, I think I'm pronouncing that right, basmati rice that they had. I actually need this for my lunch prep this week. I'm actually really excited about the recipe. So I grabbed a big bag of that. Mini marshmallows. This is for my sweet treat that I'm making this week. I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. And for those of you that watch your sugar alternatives, this particular baking recipe has no sugar substitute. So this is definitely one for you guys to check out. So big bag of mini marshmallows sourdough bread for my husband um, again a lot of us just eat regular bread and just watch our portion size so i like to show you when i do pick up just full size slices of bread so sourdough this is for his sandwiches this week also i wanted some kombucha so i grabbed the hum kombucha and this is the blueberry mint so i've never had this brand i sometimes count kombucha sometimes don't um if it's on my splurge day i don't count it so i think it's two or three smart points for the container so not a big fan of using my points for drinks but kombucha just sounded really good and i wanted to try this hum brand and then also for a recipe this week i needed rice vinegar and i was really happy to find this one this rice vinegar is actually sugar free it is one of the only ones I could find that was sugar-free. That makes it only zero calories versus 25 in regular rice vinegar. So really excited to have this. I use this a lot in cooking. So glad I found the sugar-free. So I picked up that. Of course, fat-free Ready Whip. That's a staple. I pretty much grab it every single week. And then another container of the Kroger Carb Master Milk. You can have one cup of this milk, I believe, for one or two smart points. So it's very comparable to almond milk. So for those of you that don't like almond milk and want that real milk, this is a great alternative. I know Fair Life is really low as well. Pretty controversial, but low in points. So I always just grab the Carb Master. Shredded Parmesan cheese. This is for a couple of recipes. Man, Parmesan cheese is expensive. This container was over $4, but it's a good size container and we use this a lot. And anytime we do any type of pasta recipe, we generally use Parmesan. So grabbed that. 
Also, I had a coupon for Halo Top. It was a really good one. I think it was $2 off a pint. So I grabbed the Halo Top birthday cake. I don't usually eat the whole pint at once, but I'll just have it on hand for when I'm wanting some ice cream or a sweet treat. Couldn't pass up the coupon. And then I also needed ricotta cheese and I need this for a couple of recipes and little pro tip on this You can just throw this into your freezer if you don't use it all because it is expensive and it is huge You can't buy the low fat in the smaller containers So I generally just freeze the leftovers and then that way I'm not wasting them. So big thing of the low fat ricotta cheese also, they did not have my sugar-free peppermint mocha, but they had the sugar-free pumpkin spice, and I do really like this one as well. So since I was there, I picked up two of them, and these, another thing, you can freeze these, so I'm planning on freezing quite a few to last me throughout the year. So I'll throw one of these in the freezer and one of them in the fridge to use. So two of the sugar-free pumpkin spice. I also got a bottle of wine, um, not for drinking, but for cooking. So this is the Merlot from Baybridge, and I need this for a recipe. And then whatever's left over, we may or may not drink. Not a huge red wine fan, so we shall see, but mainly got it for a recipe. And then this is my favorite shrimp. So if you do have a Fred Meyer or a Kroger, and you can find this shrimp, it is the fancy brand the fancy Kroger brand, private selection, wild caught Argentine red shrimp. This shrimp is so good. It literally tastes like lobster. Like it says right here, it's buttery and smooth. It is so good. And I needed shrimp for a recipe. So picked up a bag of that. It really truly is my favorite shrimp. And then I needed some chicken thighs for a recipe. These are the no antibiotics and these were a great price, $4.36 perfect amount for my recipe. Generally, I buy chicken breast because it's zero points, but thought I'd grab some thighs for the recipe. And then flank steak. So another really expensive item, $18 for this, but flank steak is extremely lean and really low smart points. So I grabbed that. I needed it for a recipe. Any leftovers I can just throw in the freezer. And then 93% ground turkey. I didn't have any turkey left. And sometimes I like to have this in place of ground beef. It is very similar in points, you guys, this versus 96% ground beef. So if you'd rather have the red meat, pretty close to the same point. So pick this up just to throw into the freezer. Center cut bacon. This is for my breakfast prep. I can't wait, you guys. Wait till you see what's on my menu. I cannot wait. So I picked up center cut bacon for that and a huge roast. This is for a pot roast. I'm gonna be doing a pot roast in my Instant Pot, so stay tuned for that in the Instant Pot recipe series. So big, huge roast for that. And then last before produce, some Colby Jack cheese. This is for my husband's lunches, but sometimes I like to show you guys just full fat cheese and what the smart points are for that. So, and then Diesel's been taking his medicine in these as well. So that's everything and let's move into produce. So two navel oranges, I need this for a couple of recipes. Grapes were on sale for 99 cents a pound again. So I grabbed a big bag of red and a bag of green and also strawberries were four for five still. So two pounds of strawberries. So between the strawberries and the grapes, I've got my fruits for the week. Lots of peppers because I am making fajitas this week. So I have the tri-color peppers and then check this out. I've never seen this. This is a swirl pepper. So it has red and yellow kind of swirled throughout the pepper. I just thought it was really cool. So I had to grab one. They were the same price as the regular peppers. And I just really thought that that was neat. That kind of swirl effect. So grabbed that green onions for a recipe, several limes for several recipes. And I do like limes in my water as well. And basil, basil is for um, an upcoming couple of recipes as well. So that's everything that I picked up except for beverages. So let me take you over and show you what I grabbed for drinks. So three 12 packs of Diet Coke for my husband. And then I'm excited for this for me. This is the uh, Simple Truth Organic Mango Grapefruit seltzer water zero calories zero points i like seltzer water i know it's another controversial thing some people do some people don't i really like it so i picked up the mango grapefruit so now let's move into what's on my meal plan and meal prep
But now let's get into what is on my meal plan for the week. So I use my Carrie L meal planner every week. I love this. I have the eight and a half by 11, the larger one. They do have a smaller one. They also have digital downloads. So definitely check it out. At the end here, I will give you a code that will give you 10% off of your order. So let's take a look at this meal planner. So it has a beautiful hard bound cover. It's very aesthetically pleasing. It's a nice planner. It's well-rounded, has everything that you need. So the first tab is resources. This is where you can jot down your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites. You can even use these as note pages. Uh, you can jot down recipes you want to try. Just a great option to have that available. Also, there is the inventory tab, and this is where you'll inventory your freezer, your pantry, and also your spices. So a nice way to keep track of what you have on hand. We're going to come back to the meal plan tab, and let's go to the gatherings tab. This will come in handy as the holidays come up. This is where you plan your gathering. So birthday parties, holiday events, you can plan out everything that you are making as far as food goes. And then there's a detachable grocery list for you to take with you to the grocery store. So it just makes it easy at a glance what's coming up for your gathering. And lastly, here we have the notes tab. And again, notes, you can write just about anything down here that you want. And then in the very back, there is a little folder that has two pockets. So you can use this to store recipes or things that you've printed off. So let's circle back to the meal plans tab. So each month there is a monthly calendar and I use this every single month. You can see exactly what is on your meal plan for the upcoming week. You can make sure you have the ingredients on hand and also that you've pulled your meat out of the freezer. So it's a, just a nice at a glance way to see what's on your meal plan. And then of course, every week there is a weekly menu. So similar to the gatherings, you'll jot down what you're planning on preparing, make your grocery list, detach it, take it with you to the grocery store, which I do every single week. So this is this week's meal plan. You can see the grocery list is missing. So my week goes from Saturday through Friday. So generally on Saturday is when I use my weekly. So I usually go out to dinner and I don't plan or prepare a meal for that evening. Tomorrow night on Sunday, I'm going to be making beef fajitas and I'm going to be doing that with some refried beans so i'm really excited about that that is where i'm going to be using that flank steak monday i'm going to be doing pad thai so again excited to have that that will be a 30 minute meal that you will see in an upcoming video and then we're going to be doing a couple of instant pot recipes so on tuesday is pot roast with vegetables and on wednesday is chicken yakitori with edamame and rice so you'll be seeing both those recipes in my next instant pot video Thursday, we'll do some leftovers. And Friday, I'm going to be making lemon ricotta pasta with chicken. This, my friends, is the first recipe in my challenge on my Facebook group. So I will put my Facebook group here on the screen for you. If you haven't joined, head on over. We have just under 9,000 uh, people in my group. They are so positive. It's such a great place. And we are having a challenge starting on Friday. And this is one of the recipes that I put together for the challenge. And then on the back here of my menu is where I plan my meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be prepping chaffle sandwiches. If you don't know what chaffles are, they are a waffle made out of egg and cheese and you can add anything you want to it. Savory, sweet, whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna be doing chaffle sandwiches with fruit. For my lunches, I'm gonna be doing Cajun honey glazed chicken bowls. I'm really excited about this. This is where I needed that basmati rice. And then for a snack, I'm gonna be making pumpkin Cheerio squares. So that's where I needed the marshmallows and we'll be using the pumpkin O's from Trader Joe's. And I'm not gonna share with you what is my Paul baking recipe. It's a surprise. So that is my menu for the week. Again, this is my Carrie L meal planner. If you're interested in this planner, my code is here on the screen. It will give you 10% off and allow you to purchase any version of the meal planner. You guys, this is a must have to plan out your meals and stay on track. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new fun finds. I'm really excited about those baking chips. Dream come true when I can't get lilies for less than $7 a bag. So really excited about those. So excited for my menu for the week. 
so excited and those pumpkin o rice cereal square things yum so if you're new to my channel i'd like to extend a huge warm welcome make sure you subscribe hit that little bell so you're notified every time that i upload a new video you don't want to miss out thumbs up this one comment down below let me know what you thought of this week's grocery haul and what on my meal plan or meal prep are you most excited about and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys